Hello students, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to do something we haven't done in a while. I'm going to be playing just Blitz games. And typically we do this to learn more and test some of the openings that we've been learning lately. And that's the case for the King's Indian attack. We learned it. I showed you a few games, but I haven't played it online for you to learn more about it. So like always, I'm gonna play three minute games. I always tell you guys, uh, I wish I had more time to go deeper into the ideas, the middle game plans, but this is going to allow me to do that. And it is going to allow me to give you lots of games. And that's what, what you really need. So let me just click three minutes. And I started with the black pieces. If we get the black pieces, I'm going to try to do the Pyrrhix or I'm going to do, oh, I pronounced it the right way. <laughs> uh, or I'm gonna try to do the King's Indian defense. So let's see, this looks more like uh, it is going to be a King's Indian defense. Notice that I started a little bit weird, hoping that they would do e4 and it will tra transpose into the pricks. But let's see, um, I'm just going to castle. And regardless of the, what they choose, we're going to do our plans. Notice that bishop g4 doesn't really make sense. So I'm just going to go knight b to d7. Very flexible move just to see what, what they're going to do. So um, queen b3. Okay, I'm going to do e5. That's our main plan. They take, now should I take with the knight or the pawn? Well, I'm going to take with the pawn and then c6 and queen c7. See, so c6. And this is going to be my plan, guys. Very simple. My queen is going to stay here for a while, keeping an eye on this. Um, knight f6, putting pressure on e4. Um, okay, so if I take, they have this. No, it doesn't work. So I think they just dropped the pawn. And guys, we started at 2000. We want to see how high we can get with this uh, with this account. So let's see. Should I do... No, it doesn't work. Right, let me just get out of this with a tempo, hitting that queen. Okay, now bishop e6 is going to be nice as well, uh, hitting that queen, but... Well, maybe I could do... Mm -mm, this is hanging. Hmm. B2 be hanging as well. So I'm thinking queen b6. If they take, I have bishop e6. And then do I have queen b2? No, I don't have queen b2. All right, so let me just then do... You know, b6, I don't like it either because I'm weakening this diagonal. The question is, how much can they take advantage of it? Well, let's see. We're going to find out. I have now bishop a6 and bishop e6. I think I'm going to go with this one. Initially, I wanted to go to e6, but this one looks nicer because I have even ideas with this. Uh, or e4. Let me see. I gotta move my knight. That's a fact. The question is, where do we go? Okay, e4, no. Okay, guys, so if I do e4 now, that knight is going to be there for a while. And my bishop is going to be open. Okay, so... Let's do it. I think we're going to get a very comfortable position now. Should I take? Nah, my bishop is just too good. Oof, gotta be careful with this. Mm, okay. So always being careful. Uh, little mistakes could be, <laughs> could be uh, really expensive here. So let's see what's going to happen now. Let me bring the other rook. Keeping, keeping it normal. Uh, I'm, I already have less than a minute. So that means we have to start playing fast. Okay, we gotta do c5. Let's get him out of here. And if I do c4, even better. What should I take with the queen? Hmm. Okay, he's thinking. That's a good thing. Yep. Uh, all right, we're gonna take here. Hmm. A little bit risky, but we don't have much time, guys. So let's see what we're going to do here. I check. Okay, I got to think quickly because I don't have much time. So what's the best way to do checkmate? I'm thinking of just bringing this bishop through this diagonal because he's coming here for a fact. The question is, what's the nicest way to, to finish him? Or at least the fastest. So let's think. Uh, King h1 is, is a fact. So I hope that you guys are thinking as well, what would you do next? What would you do next? I think I know my move, but let's see. Um, oh, it says he disconnected. So maybe he doesn't want to see the rest. I think 37 seconds is enough to finish this, regardless of what he does. 
Uh, I was thinking of King H1 and then just doing Pawn 2 to E3. Alright, so we got that one guys, we made it to 2100. Let's do new 3 minutes and hopefully we get the white pieces. Alright, oh, black pieces again, so this is gonna be more about... Uh, oh, maybe we get to play the King's Indian defense this time. Alright, uh, you know what, I like to start like this guys, because if we do um, Knight F6 right away, they could do ideas like Bishop G5, and then even if you do G6, they could take, and this is not what you want, at least if you don't know uh, the theory. So let me just do D6, hopefully, uh, it's not hopefully, there's no way we're gonna play the uh, the picks here. It's gonna be the King's Indian defense still. This is an opening that we're going to be learning in the near future, so it's good that you get some, uh, some more ideas. So I'm gonna castle. And then guys, this is the main line, we're going to talk about it when we learn this opening, and the, the classical way to continue with, with is with e5 right away, but I personally prefer knight a6. I know it looks weird, but it is just momentarily. This knight is coming to c5 sooner or later, so you're going to see the idea. Again, you could play it in many ways. Oh, he's going into a very theoretical line that this is something that I know uh, by heart, and you're going to have to know it as well, but it's pretty straightforward. Now they could do something like h3, I go f6, unless they do something else. Guys, this is a 2350, so if we defeat this one, we I think we're going to make it to 2300 in this game. Alright, so a3, hmm, I wonder if I should take and then go back. Let me kick you out of here. Now this knight, don't worry too much about it, because typically it comes to f7. I know it's completely different to the plans that we have learned so far, but it makes it just makes sense. You see. Now let's see what he's going to choose. Okay, um, maybe it's time to come back. Let me just go here. Now don't be intimidated by all of these pawns, because those are just going to be uh, creating weaknesses soon. Now, I wonder if I should do a 5 right away. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? And notice that I've told you that we want to do a 5 when the center is locked. It's not the case here, but I think I'm going to be fine. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be fine. Uh, even if he puts me in check from the sides and things like that. All right, it looks like we're gonna get hanging pawns. No, nope, it's not going to be the case. Huh. Okay, so he likes this square, but I'm gonna be fine. Unless I make a silly mistake, he's opening up the diagonals. You see, this is what happens when you push f5 too quickly. Um, okay, I also have d4, so I could do this and this. Let me just... No, I cannot do that now. Okay, f4. Hmm. Alright, guys, so I know this is coming at some point, but I'm going to have bishop e6, and then that is protecting there. Once I get the bishop out, my rook could come out. Yeah, that's coming. See, we knew that was coming. And my knight wants to get to e6 anyways. 2, 8, oh, what did he do? Oh, he hasn't moved. All right, so knight f4. Now I have my queen, my knight. Everyone is protecting e6. So let's see what he's going to do next. Now he needs to be careful. Something like rook e1, I could do knight d3 with a fork because his bishop is pinned as well. So all of these ideas, I'm thinking as he's thinking. I'm using his time to think about my next move. Okay, so can I do it now? Knight d3. No, it doesn't look like it. Right, let's just do this and then what do we take with I guess with this knight I'm happy to get rid of this bishop yeah yeah okay so we have knight and bishop versus two knights no that's not gonna oh what am I doing no oh, wait 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 maybe maybe that this gives me the answer a5 trying to open up, no, 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 because he could come to the 7th rank, oh, rook f7, maybe that was the way to go, okay, he's not, knight d2, no, 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 alright, let me try this, 
Uh, he has 26 seconds. We might just get lucky and win this game. Let's see. Uh, don't be surprised if he takes here. Oh no, he's not taking there. Mm. All right. Uh, maybe this is the way to go here. Huh. What if I take followed by bishop g7? Now, let me just do this. All right, 34 seconds. He has 15 seconds. Uh, he's not going to be able to make good choices here. Hmm. I'm taking this. And then this. All right, so this should be an easy win unless I make a silly mistake. Checkmate, checkmate. Oh, he wants to fork me. Ah, I lost the bishop. Oh, no, checkmate. All right, checkmate. Uh, guys, not too too good. Okay, we he had only five seconds left. All right, we made it to 23.54. Let's see. Let's play a few more games. Uh, hopefully, we get the white pieces now. I don't know why they gave us... Okay, white pieces. Guys, if I want to try to force this into a King's Indian attack, I want to start with knight f3. If I just do e4, they could do so many things, and it would take us away from the King's Indian attack. So... Uh, you're gonna see how we get to that position. I want to do e4, but it's not safe yet. So I'm going to do knight b to d2, and then my pawn goes to e4. There you go. So this is exactly what we talked about. Now he took. Here it is up to you if you take with the knight or with the pawn. I'm going to take with my pawn, and two things. I could still do e5 like we learned and gain some space on the king side, or I could play more like I do in the picks with, with um, c3 and queen c2. Um, to be honest, I feel more comfortable in this position to do c3 and queen c2, but just to keep it consistent with what we learned, I'm gonna do e5. All right, let's, let's keep it in the spirit of the king's Indian attack. Okay, so I'm gonna do here, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a3 because I need to do c4 to kick this guy out and I don't want him to go to b4. So c4, get out of here. Now I want to get to this. Uh, I want to get to d6. So I think that's happening right now. Okay, queen or pawn. If I take with the pawn, that pawn is going to start getting weaker and weaker and weaker. So should we take with? Hmm. Okay, okay. Let me see. Take, he moves, 95, oh, 95 maybe. You know what? Let's give him a hard time. Let's let's see. Okay, 98. Uh, now, this is going to be a very cheap trick, but now I'm trying to do 95. 30 in checkmate. Nah, of course not. Well, let's do... <laughs> okay. Okay. Now that pawn, it looks very powerful there, but it might get difficult to defend it. So let's see, let's see what happens. Um, I wish I could do this with a more energetic move. Can I take advantage of this discovery in any way? Oh yeah, it looks, no, it can't. All right, so I'm doing this, trying to create more weakness on the king side. Let's see if I can get my pawn all the way to, to h6. Now, you know, my pawn, it looks like it's doing more than I... Ooh, I think I got what I wanted. See, I'm hitting... Oh, he doesn't mind it. Yeah, that's checkmate. All right, guys, I was actually more interested on, the, on that bishop on b7. So, you see, I was looking for that for a long time. All right, we made it to 24-10. Um, we're gonna, we gotta play a few more games. Let's see who we get next. So, new three-minute game. And hopefully we get the white pieces again. All right, now, black pieces... Well, let's see. Okay, 2462. It looks like he's not going to, to play. Or maybe he's giving us a head start. All right, I'm going to keep it uh, consistent with what we have learned for the black pieces. Uh, notice that I'm doing this weird uh, first few moves. Just hoping that they would do e4. But, okay, it looks like this is a... Look, same thing. King's Indian defense, notice how at this level, guys, they go more for this variation. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. If they do d5, you're going to see the knight. Ah, there you go. Knight going in here, hitting the pawn on e4. And now we have seen this before. I actually mentioned it in one of our lessons about the King's Indian attack. I don't want them to kick me out, 
so I'm going to do A5. We saw it with uh, the white pieces, but it's the same concept. All right, so I'm going to do B6. I want to do Knight G4 uh, next. No, he doesn't want me to. So then, hmm, let me actually do this. So I'm developing all of my pieces. Then I need to move my knight to do F5. Look at the, the center. We've talked about this so many times. The center is locked. My target is the, the pawn in front of my most forward pawn. So I'm going to do knight e8 just to do f5. All right, so this is just to do b4. Sometimes I can do a4 followed by this, but he's not letting me. Now, let's see. All right, guys, we have no choice but to go in. We have talked about this. Um, yeah, I cannot open anything on the queen side. I need to focus on the king side. Huh, should I do a4? That would be very nice. Okay, guys, we might lose that pawn. He's going to do something like b5, but we don't really mind it. We just got to get to open up here. Okay, c5. Oof, even better. Mm. Yeah, he's creating complications on this side. Oh, we got to take, take. I don't think he's going to give me this bishop. Oh, he's going to give me that bishop. So this is going to be even... Ah, but he's going to take this one away. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, mm -hmm. all right. So we've talked about this. Um, G three. Should I do H four? All right. Let me do this move, guys. Guys, this is a plan that it, it's really interesting because my rook could now help on either side. Now, where do I want that queen, that rook to help? Okay, they're hitting here. Um. All right. Let me just do this. I need to. Open up the bishop. Okay, g3. Should I do h4? Right, let's go over there and create some, some complications. Let's see if I can do h3. Oh, and we take. No, yes. Now the queen's here, but this is getting more and more interesting now. He wants to trade queens because he knows this is getting complicated for him. I'm up a pawn. In, under any other circumstances, I would trade. But I'm attacking, so I want to keep my queen on the board. All right, so can I do 94, 96? Okay, 48 seconds. Okay, 96 looks really interesting. Now, I got to keep it energetic, guys. Even if I wanted to just simplify the game, um, I just cannot do this. I have to keep it energetic. Oof. Um, all right, everyone coming to the king side. Everyone coming to the king side. All right, it looks like we got something here. We gotta have something here. Come on. We gotta have something here. Everyone knows we gotta have something here. All right, we're trying to do checkmate. He needs to bring his rook down here. No, he's going for the check. But now he's going down here. He needs to, because I'm doing checkmate. I'm hitting e4 as well. If we lose this game on time, I'm going to be happy anyways, because we're winning by, like, this position is completely won. Rook f2. Not sure what he could do now here. If knight d2, I think I'm going to go queen d5. I want to keep my queen on this diagonal for the checkmate. So... Let's see, guys. Okay, so we take. We had. We knew that was going to happen. Oof. Oh, I dropped my queen. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable. All right, guys. Not, that was not good. But what can we do? Oh, we dropped the queen. We dropped the queen. Yeah, he's not going to give us a break. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so that was pretty bad. So let's resign. We had him. We, I know. We, I know. I had him. All right, but twenty-three forty-five. New three minutes. Hopefully, we get the white pieces. Um, let's see. Very, very, very nice game. That was a very nice game. So, guys, this is what you look for when you play the Kings Indian. All right, so let me just try another setup that I want to show you. So this other setup is going to be 
D4. So I'm going to show you one with D4. Uh, if I have time with C4, even F4. So this is how it goes. Uh, don't worry, it's not the London system. We've talked about that before. This is, uh, I think they call it the Kali uh, Sucre Tord system. And guys, it's going to be always the same thing. So my knight goes to F3, pawn to D4 with E3. The bishop goes uh, go south via b2 this bishop goes to d3 and you're going to see um, how how you're going to do to attack now is it gonna work I don't know yet let me just get this bishop out huh, we're playing an 1174 hmm. well let's see uh, we castle then he wants to get to a4 so typically we could do something like a3 if they go a4 we do b4 so i don't know if that's his intention but knight b to d2 just memorize where the pieces go um the queen goes to e2 and now this knight goes to e5 so this is all i need to, to remember in order to play this and and get a good game all right so knight e5 then f4 uh, typically comes, you could do knight f3 and by the way guys, in this system you could break on c4 um, hmm. okay, so knight f3, you could break on c4 or you could do what I'm doing and expand on the king side so let's see how this goes now Or you could do both. Sometimes you could just uh, do both. To be honest here, my opponent is not giving me a, a hard time. He's playing on his side. I'm playing on my side. So this is a this is already move number 14, and we get a very comfortable position. Uh, nothing crazy. I don't know if he's running out of uh, ideas for a plan now, but we should know what to do at all times. Um, all right, so let me give this a try. So it's a little bit similar to what we were doing in the king's indian defense we're going to try to attack on the king side notice how the center is, is locked their best chat is to try to create something on the c file um okay so now i'm going to do king h1 trying to bring my rook trying to break on f5 let's see all right he took now we could take with a knight but i want to keep pieces on the board let me keep this the center locked and maybe this knight could be used to, to attack. All right, so what we're gonna take. Now there's a left behind pawn. Um, let me just do g5. And now I'm thinking if my knight could be on g4, that would be nice, because I'll be putting pressure on those squares, but maybe we get to do that. Um, I'm also looking at my bishop. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let me just use it, the, the F file. Okay. Guys, again, I'm not concerned about my king. His pieces are on the other side. Uh, the center is not open. So I got to keep it like that. I don't want to do anything like c4 right now because then this bishop becomes really powerful. Now, it looks like he's trying to break here, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, can I do 95? Is that what I want to do? I don't think that's what I want to do. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let me try this, guys. I'm going to risk it because first I need my rook to come over if necessary. All right, it looks like he wants to open up the center. And it looks like he got it done. Yep, look at this bishop. He got that. I have to give him credit for that. Uh, okay, we got to take, take, take. Okay, now our best move is... Oh, we got to come here. Now, this check, wait for it because <laughs> that's coming. And yeah. So now we have to, oh, he's just, mm, 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 no, this is coming. Now this could be really annoying for me. Ooh, how about this? Check. 
Now, if it gets on the dark, on, oh yeah, so now I'm gonna go check. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's checkmate, guys. I think that's checkmate. Yeah. All right, so that was not exactly what I had in mind, but still, I think this is going to be useful to you because soon we're going to be learning about the Kinsey Indian defense. So you already have some ideas. When I talk about it, everything is going to be familiar and it's going to be easier to understand. And of course, there were other things. Um, we didn't get exactly the Kinsey Indian attack as I wanted it, but you saw some of the ideas. And to be honest, a lot of the time when you play the Kinsey Indian attack, you're not going to get it exactly how we went over it on, on those lessons. So it's good that you look at it in different ways. And I hope that you found some value in this video. So I'll talk to you guys in the comments and I'll see you in our next lesson.